Now, if you're following this channel for a while, you would know. I don't carry my MacBook with me anymore. I've already lost a MacBook Pro and the fear is still there. So, I finally bought this Chromebook. And first impression, it's too compact for my liking. But the question has to be asked, can you use a Chromebook as a replacement for personal computer? Well, let's put it to test. Starting tomorrow, I will be replacing my MacBook Air with this Chromebook and see how it goes. Goodbye MacBook and hello Chromebook. Now, the one I have is 10 inch Chromebook Flip C101, which is like $300 or 20,000 rupees on Amazon. It comes with all metallic body with two Type C port, one USB A port, 4 gigs of RAM, and 2 gigahertz of processor. Specs are quite good for the price, but I am skeptical about the 32 gigs of storage. On the flip side, pun intended, it can be used in the traditional laptop mode tablet mode and stand mode, which looks gimmicky. Anyways, talking about the software, this Chromebook can run Chrome OS, Android OS and Linux. We will come to that later on. Now, most part of my work happens on the internet, like reading articles on Feedly, editing blogs on WordPress, writing script on Google Docs and watching YouTube videos for work. Yes for work. Now this Chromebook comes with Chrome OS, which basically is a Chrome browser. So I can just log into my Google account and I have access to all my history, bookmarks, passwords, extension, everything. Everything is ready to set up. Now I don't do programming, video editing, photo editing or any other kind of resource intensive stuff, but my work heavily relies on small utilities. Thankfully, since most Chromebook also runs Android application, I was able to find replacement for pretty much all the utilities that I use like text expansion, Slack, clipboard manager, Skype, Authy and many others. So the initial setup was breeze. Thanks to the Android support on this one, I have access to pretty much all the applications that I need to get started. But I'm still skeptical about the practicality of this thing. Let's see how it performs in future. So after using this Chromebook for past couple of days, I have to say I'm surprised. On a typical day, I run 15 to 20 Chrome tabs and four to five applications side by side. And this Chromebook doesn't lag or crashed, not even for once. Also, you can unlock your Chromebook with your Android phone and bypass the password. Kind of like MacBook Pro and Apple Watch. I like that. Sure, there were a few hiccups here and there. For instance, my AirPods didn't work with Chromebook. There was just too much lag. But the other truly wireless, they work fine. So I guess it has something to do with Apple. Similarly, the webcam, well, it's shitty. So I can't do any Skype calls on that. But then again, this is a hardware issue rather than Chrome OS fault. Also, it's hard to touch type on this smaller keyboard. But I guess these are just minor things and I may get used to it. Overall, the work part on this Chromebook was quite satisfactory. But what I really enjoyed is the out of office experience that it brings with it. I often go swimming after work and carrying my MacBook with me was a problem. So now I take this portable Chromebook with me, which easily fit inside the gym bag. Also, it has a type C power port, so I don't have to carry an extra charger. Although it does charge slowly with my OnePlus dash charger. Now, this could be an Indian thing, but since these Chromebooks are so inexpensive, I can just carry it with me anywhere and don't really have to worry about it. Another thing that I thought was a gimmick but later I found it useful is the tablet mode. Just like most of you, I watch videos while having a dinner on my bed. And folding the Chromebook screen like this really helps. I was never able to make this work on my smartphone. And on top of that, you can also download Netflix and YouTube Android application on this. Which means you will have the ability to download offline videos. Something that was never possible on MacBook before. And thanks to Google Play Store, you can play some really cool Android games on bigger screen. So far, it's pretty good. Yes, there are a few limitations when I'm using it for work, but other than that, it's a great machine to have outside office. It's light, it's compact, it's basically an Android tablet with a keyboard. Let's see if I'm able to find solutions to a couple of problems that I'm facing in the next few days. It's almost a week since I've started using Chromebook, maybe even more. So to answer your question, should you buy this or not? Well, before I answer that, here's a thing I've realized after using it for days. 
You can do pretty much all the easy work on Chromebook that you can do on regular computers, but you are gonna miss out on efficiency. Let me show you how. On Mac, I use the ATX Text Expander app and it works flawlessly. On Chromebook, however, I have to restart the Text Expander app every day and still tap on the green tick. It works, but takes some time. Similarly, on Mac, I can just copy anything on Slack directly. which I have to manually copy it with a long press on Chromebook. Coming back to Mac, when I have to take video files from Kaushik, I can simply use AirDrop. But on Chromebook, we have to go back to SSD or Google Drive for file transfer. So finally, should you buy a Chromebook or not? And well, it depends. If you're looking for a complete computer replacement, then no, Chromebook is not for you. This one still cannot do photo editing, video editing, programming, or any kind of computer intensive work like PC gaming. However, if you're looking for a simple computer that can do web browsing, Android application support, and you can watch Netflix on the go, and most importantly, if you're looking for a portable and cheap computer that you can carry anywhere on the go, then yes, Chromebook makes sense. Although do keep in mind, you still won't be losing out on efficiency. That being said, I'm gonna use it as my secondary computer for now. But let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna use Chromebook? As always, it's Minna signing off. We'll catch you guys later.